Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGarGuard.com and in this video we will look at how to create a combo chart or combination chart in Excel. So a combination chart is used to show two different types of chart in one. Why would you want to do this? It is usually used to display data that either varies wildly or you've got data of different types and you're trying to display them within one chart. So you want to highlight to people that the data is different or it's the same figure but they're very different numbers or that it's a completely different data type like you've got one that is like an integer and another one is a time they're completely different types of data uh, to have them coexist you would use these combo charts so we've got an example on our spreadsheet here we've got the sales of the sales reps and then a conversion ratio for them like based on the leads uh, that they received or the phone calls they made how many sales did they actually convert and we want to display both information in one chart but the problem we've got is that you know, George Denning's sales was 124, but the conversion was 63%, so 0.63. You know, that is 124 times bigger, you know, just a little more than that, bigger than the 63%. They're extremely different numbers. They can't just use the same axes on the chart. And we'll see that now, because our first step is to highlight that range of cells and to insert just a normal column chart to begin with. So I'm going to insert a 2D clustered column for that range of cells. And it's not going to be good viewing really. We can see the sales figures and you may just about, if you're good, see the conversion bar. You see the tiny little bit of red at the bottom? There's our conversion so small because the axis goes from 0 to 20 no, and Callum Drivers for example oops, Callum Drivers is 0 0.56 so it's hardly even figuring so what we are going to do is get this conversion kind of ratio data series to follow a secondary axis and because it's quite small and possibly hard to double click on, I'm going to take the route of going to the layout tab and then the drop down list on the far left to choose the conversions series and then click format selection. So I get a dialog box to do things to that data series. And I'm going to plot it on a secondary axis. Plot the series on a secondary axis. Close that box down. And now I've got an axis on the right showing percentages for the conversions. And a different axis on the left showing number of cells. So two different types of data in one chart. Now our last step is to convert that conversion ratio data into a different type of chart because at the moment it's another column and it's just standing in front of the other bar so it still looks pretty poor at the moment this chart now our last step is what truly makes this a combo chart we're going to right mouse click on one of the conversions columns and choose change series chart type and I'm going to convert it to an area chart. Very common to see the combo charts as a column and line or a column and an area chart. I prefer the area. Now click OK and here we go. So we have the columns representing number of cells following the primary axes on the left and then the area chart using the data from the right hand axis, the second one conversions. And also the colours represent that uh, to people. So we can see in this data, hopefully for example, that yeah, George was our best salesperson just about. 
um, and also one of her best at converting as well. So he doesn't lie, he's a very good salesperson. But then so is Sam Edwards. Now don't be deceived by the sales number. You know, what was that fourth place for the sales? However, he's actually the best at converting. So arguably our best salesperson for converting leads. He's for some reason, uh, maybe didn't work as many shifts or something, hasn't sold as much. And so on and so forth. Similar story with Wendy, really very good at sales, but hasn't performed much. But then we can see that Karen and Perry have got maybe the least on conversions. Uh, so we can see a bit of both sets of data. We can see different data types in one. Um, yeah, combo charts are great for that. That's how you create a combo or combination chart. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargoyle.com.